All right, welcome back to Get Out the House, Go Fish. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a kayak rack that can hold up to three kayaks. Make any changes to this build that you want uh, that you know best suits you with the kayaks that you have. And the items that you need to build this rack will also be listed below in the description. Uh, I purchased all my items that I got from this build from Home Depot. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna get is six 12 foot two by fours. Now, what kind you get, that's your preference. I got the pressure treated, but if you want to save some money, you can just get the regular two by fours. Next, you're gonna need a box of three inch screws. This is what I used. If you want to stop there, you can, but if you want to add paddle holders and maybe some hooks to hang your PFDs, you know, life vests, then these are the ones you're going to uh, need to get. And last, uh, at this time, I chose not to add the wheels, but if you do want to add the wheels, I suggest you getting them from Harbor Freight if you have one nearby instead of uh, instead of Home Depot because at Harbor Freight they only cost half as much all right now that we have everything let's get started and let's build this kayak rack so first what you want to do is you're going to get two of those 12 foot pieces of two by fours you're going to cut them in half to six feet okay so now you can have four of the six foot pieces of two by fours then you're gonna take all the rest of the uh, 12 foot pieces, you're gonna cut every one of them uh, up into four foot pieces, okay? So now you should have a total of four six foot pieces and 12 four foot pieces of wood. Okay, now you're gonna get four pieces of the four foot uh, two by fours. You're gonna square them up and then you're gonna uh, basically drill in two screws into each corner okay this is probably the only part that you're gonna need help uh, holding this frame up uh, because you're gonna get uh, the six foot two by four and you're gonna uh, put them on the uh, inner side of, of the frame on one side and you're gonna screw them in and then once you have those screwed in you're gonna turn it over and then screw in the other two. So this is what it's gonna look like. All right, now you wanna set the, uh, the frame right side up to where you have the six foot pieces of two by four standing straight up. And then you want to measure from the, the top of that bottom two by four uh, up. So I marked my spot at 20 inches. All right, so you wanna get one of your uh, four foot two by fours. Uh, I placed mine right next to the frame here and I'm just marking it right here so that way when I raise it up to 20 inches, I know it's gonna be even on both sides. I personally am gonna put the outback on the bottom uh, of this rack. So, I mean, you make your measurements to whatever kayaks that you have because I'm gonna put my pro angler in the middle so uh, my measurements will probably be different than yours unless you just want to go by how I do mine. All right, so I put the two side braces on, as you can see, and they're both level. And now we're gonna add uh, the front braces on. And uh, the, where I'm facing, that's where uh, the direction that the kayaks are gonna slide in. Okay, so I got another uh, two by four. Uh, I wedged it right there uh, in between the side braces. Uh, I'm gonna actually put four screws right here in the front and then two on the side. I'm gonna make sure that it's level and I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Okay, we're gonna make the uh, next measurement. So we're gonna measure from the top of this two by four 
and we're going to measure up to 32 inches. Now this time it'll be uh, a little different because the uh, bottom of the 2x4 uh, will be at 32 and the top of the next 2x4 will be at 36. So uh, I'm making this middle area larger because I want my pro angler to slide in without removing the seat. All right, so once again, we're just going to wedge this two by four right in here between these other ones and uh, the tension will hold it right in place. And we're gonna make sure it's level and then we're gonna go ahead and secure it to the frame. All right, and after you finish securing uh, that two by four, you wanna go on the other side and do the same thing. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to add carpet, add carpet um, to the top. I, I definitely recommend that and also if you want to add your hangers for your paddles and your pfds uh, or whatever else you want to hang from the rack also the wheels you're going to lay the frame down uh, the rack on its side to add the wheels uh, like i said i'm not doing that at this time but i uh, hope this made uh, it pretty easy for y'all uh, hope it, it was easy to follow along uh, definitely hit that thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. Until next time.